Today we are catching and cooking a trout and a catfish from an Arizona urban pond. Come along as we make some fish tacos and get on a hot bite. We are at a really small pond. I love this pond though. This is one of my favorites. And we're going to be trying to catch a catfish and a trout and then cooking some fish tacos. Just to kind of show that they are okay to eat. You're not gonna die if you eat them. We're gonna go with the trout rod first. Of course, you guys know the Ugly Stick GX2 four pound test and the Shimano Sienna. So fun fact, I've actually never done trout in this pond before. Um, so I'm kind of excited. I don't really know how this pond operates the norms and stuff like that So I'm excited to figure that out along the way. I have catfished here quite a bit though So and the power bit I'm putting on now is just that corn flavor. You guys have seen me use it before here we go We're just gonna start with that and see if maybe they want something else. I don't know, but let's get this out here. Let's put it Maybe even closer than that and we have the chair rod holder today just because this is all concrete. For the catfish bait, it is my personal favorite. We have the striker punch bait. Oh, if you guys have never used this stuff, it is magic for stocked catfish, I'll tell you what. And we got our catch the fever rod, you guys already know. Okuma Seymour, I think we have 20 pound test on this one. And then just our egg weight to our leader, treble hook, and we got the striker alpha blood on. And this catfish rod, I'm gonna kinda put out in the middle more. You can basically cast to any corner of this pond from wherever you're at in this pond. So, so there we go. Okay. Oh, captain shrug, guys. It's been literally like two minutes. Got him. Got him. That was a subtle bite, guys. That was subtle. He feels all right. Let's see the size here. I think that's about perfect actually. I think that's about perfect, perfect size. We didn't want one too big and we didn't want one like micro obviously. I think this is the perfect balance. We have all the cooking stuff in the car but for now we're going to throw this fish on a stringer and uh, keep fishing. Hopefully get some trout now. In the meantime we'll put the bobber out. The worm and bobber method for these fish. You guys know I love doing that as well. I may even just throw right over here along this weed line. Let's see if we sync up to that, we might. Yeah, we do. It could, it could not, I don't know. My bobber's gone. Fish on, fish on guys. I was not paying attention, the bobber was gone. This feels like a trout. This feels like a trout. Jeez, man. Yeah, or no, it's a catfish. It's a catfish. I thought we had them. Jesus. There are so many catfish in here, guys. So many. There he is. Little baby. Second fish of the day. There we go. Let's go right on this weed line again and see if there's anything else. Right up there. Oh, straight under again. It's gotta be, oh, he came back up that time. That could be a trout, because he's coming back up. I got him, whatever it is. The bobber, gosh, just killing it today. Killing it on the bobber. I'm hopeful for trout this time, but it feels, I don't even know what it feels like, honestly. Let's see, what do we got? Worms catching it all today. Now it's fine like a, what is that? Is that a bass? Oh, he's, pulling oh my goodness guys i think i don't know what i have might be a bass what the heck is this he slammed the worm oh my goodness he's right here i'm trying to keep him out of this line oh my goodness jesus <laughs> it's a bass wait it's a trout it's a nice trout wow Nice trout. I was not expecting that to be a trout. Wow, he fought hard. This is one of the best fights I've had in an urban pond. This is one of the biggest ones I've ever caught out of an urban pond, probably. We gotta get this guy. Oh, we got him. Oh my goodness, that is huge, man. That is, <laughs> that is huge. But oh my goodness. Nice, nice trout there. 
Let's get them on the stringer. Let's try that again. Hopefully we broke the uh, catfish curse. And then I'm also gonna be throwing the jig up against that because uh, I want to get on a nice little artificial bite. Got one right there, guys. Right there on the space bug. Smacked it. Smacked it. Beautiful trout. That was on the space black. Big camera's dead, unfortunately. I knew I was going to get one doing that, man. Two pound tests for being nice and finesse. And I'm going to let this guy go here. He's just putting up a fight on this two pound test ultralight. We love to see it. He smacked it. He smacked it. Look at those stripes on him. Wow. Look at this one's all. <laughs> this one's tiny. <laughs> Look at the tail, man. Look at that fish. Almost looks like a tiger trout. And we're going to let him go. Getting right on out of there. Wow, that's amazing, guys. Oh, guys, that's one of my favorite ways to get a mini jigging. If you guys want some guidance on some trout fishing here, I just made a video like last week or a week or two or something. And it just goes over everything you need to know about trout fishing in these urban ponds. So if you guys are interested and you want to learn some more, I will leave it linked down below. Actually, I could put it right up here. Editing. Editing, baby. And I'm going to switch out the black for the alien green here. go perfect and I'm gonna make a cast this way this is where I caught that one before so I'm assuming maybe they're just all over here I'm not really too sure though and we were doing the same method I always do here just barely twitching the rod and he just smacked it I think that green looks better in the water There's another one, just like that, just like that. Space bug, baby, that's all you need. And my bobber's going. Another nice trout on the space bug. This was the color change. This was alien green here, and he smacked it. Really beautiful fish they're putting in. Wow. Right in the top of the nose, and he is out of there. Alien green space bug second focus there we go we have these linked in the description down below if you guys want to support your boys local arizona small business oh the bobber guys he's about to go down this time got him got him on the bobber got him on the bobber what do we got feels like a small trout if i would have to guess what is it it is a trout is he small? Not so much. He's growing up a little bit on me here. Jeez, man. Oh, right on the top of the nose. He jumped on shore for us. My goodness. Another great looking one. Wow. Awesome. We're doing well today. We are doing well today. Jesus. We're going to do brown now. Brown, guys. I think brown's going to have a really good contrast in here. Oh, that's beautiful. Brown. You know what color the pellets they feed the trout are in the hatchery? Brown. <laughs> All right. You can't really cast these as far as I would like, but that's okay. I know the power bait and the worms, it works really well, but this is just a fun way, you know, to feel them bite and to work. There we go. Brown, baby. Brown, baby. And they love it. They love it, man. You get them on the right. Did I catch a catfish? It's a catfish. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's a catfish on the brown space bug, man. What the heck? Look at that. Right in the corner. This is actually the second catfish ever landed on the space bug. P Money caught the first on pink. There we go. Little catfish in the mix. Catfish and trout type day today, huh? I think I'm going to go with a new color. I think that was a sign from God right there. Oh, perfect. Perfect. That's what we're looking like. Pink space bug on that white jig head right there. Let's see if they're going to get into that. I'm hoping they are. 
all we can do is try because we snagged there we'll go over here next and i'm really letting it sink down there this is a tiny jig head and just you just don't want to rush this process i guess you could say just really take your time and keep it in front of them a lot of the times yeah you're going to be bouncing right off the bottom but that's where the fish are going to be man it's barely twitching come on baby it's almost time for the fish tacos guys we're gonna be frying up some fish tacos Oh my goodness, I am so excited. There's a pick. It's barely twitching right here. Boom. Boom, we got him that time, baby. He cannot resist that pink and white. <laughs> oh God, this is one of my favorite times of the year, I will say. Oh, look at him trying to pull. These are some of the best fights I've had on trout this year so far <laughs> on the pink and white baby wow pink spacey perfect let's let him go nice and quick guys after that fish i did end up catching another one that was perfect size for the catch and cook so we got him loaded up on the stringer it is now time for the fish tacos next part of the video time to cook up this little channel cat and this nice sized trout and see how it tastes. First, we need to clean these fish. And all we're gonna do is go up from the booty all the way to the gills. And then we are simply going to, boom, pop that off. Put the finger down in there. Oh, that just kind of fell apart. Doesn't usually happen. That, pull that and all the guts. All this stuff comes right out. That's very, very fatty fish. We're just gonna wash them off. We're gonna pop the bloodline here. Boom. Get this guy washed. And there we go. As you can see, meat little different than when they're in a river versus a pond. But hey, that's a nice fish. He's gonna cook up freaking amazingly. So we're gonna go clean this guy now. Same ish thing, but not. Same thing. the belly i don't know what he's been eating all the way up to the top these are a little different though and then we just want to reach in there grab all the hearts and the guts out and pull that i think this is fat should be about good boom all right rinse him off and we have our two fish cleaned now now we're going to fillet our two fish and see how that goes we're gonna get these filleted up we'll see how this goes man the trout is really easy so i'm gonna do the trout first and we're just gonna go from the top try and keep all that meat that middle bone all the way all the way across not bad there we go and these ones are looking pretty white some of them are like really pink though there we go perfect boom there we go skin is off and we'll start the catfish catfish could be a little more tricky to fillet um, just because they got all these bones, man. And we're just going to attempt to do it this way. You guys know I like to peel catfish usually, but um, I didn't feel like doing that today. perfect rib bones that's looking really good there guys this is the catfish you can tell the meat is very white this is the trout a little more orange a little more pink let's get the stove set up and start cooking these bad boys all right there we go there's that we have our cast iron pan what we're gonna do is take this trout and put it in the pre-mixture 
And this pre-mixture is cayenne pepper, salt, pepper, chili flakes, and something else, I can't remember. We're gonna do the same exact thing with the catfish we just filleted up in the same batter, same batter. I was gonna cook them separate, but it just made the most sense to do it together. Um, and we're just gonna coat. We're gonna coat all this, all this fish up. And in the meantime, while those kind of sit in there, I'm gonna cook the tortillas. We're gonna make some fish tacos. And I wanna do the tortillas first so I can put them in the plate, keep them warm, and then we will fry up the fish, put them in there. And we got the little tortillas and then I have some onions seasoned as well. I'm gonna throw in there after the tortillas. There we go. We're cooking. We're gonna transfer the fish over. So this is a combination of beer batter fish fry and the Louisiana fish fry, if you guys have ever had it. And this stuff is absolutely amazing, dude. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be hot, man. It's gonna be hot. Okay. Oh my goodness. And there we go, we'll cover that back up, keep it nice and warm. Start with some of this. Oh my gosh, I think we ran out of gas, guys. So I'm gonna start putting this stuff in here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Guys, catch and cook. The trout is definitely a little bit more firm than the, uh, than the catfish, and I kind of figured that this is gonna happen. All right, that should be about good. We still have a couple more, or no, do we have one more? I might just throw all this in one, guys. But I mean, wow, look at that. Frying up very nicely. I know not a lot of people fry trout, um, but I've done it a couple times and it is super good. I know people say it's a waste and stuff, but when you have so much trout, <laughs> you don't know what to do with it, you start frying it. I think we've reached the time. I think these guys are finished. They're looking very brown. Let's start pulling this stuff off. Oh my goodness. It's amazing. Put it perfect. Guys, this stuff is looking so good. I know everybody's like, you can't eat fish out of there, you can't eat fish. That is the main reason these ponds are stocked for put and take. They stock them so you can take them out and eat them. They are now complete. My dad is just arriving now. And we'll get dad a taco as well. He's just coming down. All right, let's grab some of this. Let's get some onion on there. Grab some of this fish. I believe this is the catfish. This is catfish. Maybe we'll do a catfish taco and then a trout taco. That's the one with the skin right there. Oh my goodness, there we go. That's number one. Right here. Here we go. Fish taco, baby. Taste test. Oh my goodness. This is the catfish, I believe. The spice is exactly what I wanted. I'm speechless, guys. I'm sorry. I'm supposed to give you, I'm supposed to be taking you along with me. It's my fault. Wow. Does not taste like it came from an urban pond. That is the catfish. Let's make a trout one now. It's trout. Trout. There we go. Throw some onions on that bad boy. And some of that creamy fish sauce. <laughs> this, my friends, is the trout taco going down the hatch. Oh my God. Very spicy, I like spicy food. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'm gonna finish the rest of my meal here. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. This one was a lot of fun to make, I will admit. And we'll see you in the next video.